In recent years, Saudi Arabia, as a key ally of the United States in the Middle East, has undergone tremendous changes in its policy orientation and strategic layout. The most significant change is that Saudi Arabia has begun to actively pursue reducing its dependence on the United States. As of 2022, Saudi oil exports to the United States have decreased by approximately 28% compared with 2019. At the same time, Saudi Arabia also signed a RMB settled oil agreement with China. This series of measures seems to indicate that Saudi Arabia is gradually reducing its dependence on the United States, and is more inclined to cooperate closely with China. But what deserves our attention is that in order to establish a closer cooperative relationship with China, Saudi Arabia has always expressed its desire to participate in the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, which is jointly built by China and Pakistan. In order to integrate into this corridor plan, Saudi Arabia has been working hard for five years, during which it provided up to 6.2 billion US dollars in financial assistance to Pakistan, and invested 10 billion US dollars in building a huge oil refinery at Gwadar port. So, why is Saudi Arabia so determined to join the China-Pakistan economic corridor? Will China and Pakistan support Saudi Arabia's accession? Welcome to Word Answer, where you will be able to learn about projects, cooperation around the world, and important information about China. Subscribe to us and discover more interesting events around the world. Before we delve into why Saudi Arabia is actively involved in the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, Let's take a closer look at this ambitious project. The China-Pakistan Economic Corridor is an important part of China's One Belt, One Road initiative. It was first proposed in 2013 and officially launched in 2015. It is understood that this economic corridor is 3,000 kilometers long and connects western China with Gwadar port in Pakistan. The project is not limited to building roads, but also includes the construction of highways, railways, energy and digital communication networks. To date, the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor has attracted more than 62 billion US dollars in investment and has been running successfully for nearly eight years. During this period, the construction of the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor has greatly improved Pakistan's infrastructure enhanced its power supply capacity and promoted economic development. Especially when it comes to solving energy shortages, the corridor project has reduced domestic power pressure and brought substantial benefits to countless Pakistani households and businesses. For China, the most important project in the entire corridor is located in Pakistan's Gwadar port, because it ensures China's future oil transportation security. In the past decade or so, oil transportation from the Middle East to China required crossing the Strait of Malacca, and then across the entire Indian Ocean to reach southern Chinese ports, which took 35 to 40 days. By going through Gwadar port, you can save about 20 to 30 days. In addition, long-distance shipping costs are high, so every day reduced in shipping time represents savings in fuel personnel wages, ship depreciation, etc. For China, a large oil importer, this means billions of dollars in annual transportation cost savings. It is precisely because of the huge potential of the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor project that in 2018, the project successfully attracted great attention from Saudi Arabia. In order to participate in this ambitious project, Saudi Arabia has communicated with China and Pakistan many times to seek cooperation opportunities. Soon after, Saudi Arabia provided up to $6.2 billion in financial assistance to Pakistan to support its economic development. This action is seen as Saudi Arabia's firm commitment to the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor project. In the same year, Saudi Arabia also invested up to 10 billion US dollars in a refinery project in Gwadar port to further deepen its determination to participate in this project. As far as I know, 
the refinery is expected to start construction at the end of 2023. Its construction scale is large, with a designed annual processing capacity of up to 300,000 tons. According to the plan, the refinery will be completed and put into operation in 2025, and will become an important part of the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor project in the future. According to statistics, Saudi Arabia used to export about 60,000 tons of crude oil every year. However, with the construction and commissioning of new refineries, annual export volume is expected to increase to more than 70,000 tons in the future. Recently, Pakistan's information minister stated, From 2018 to the present, Saudi Arabia will become the third economic strategic partner in the China-Pakistan economic corridor. So, why does Saudi Arabia insist on participating in the China-Pakistan economic corridor? As we all know, Saudi Arabia has very rich oil reserves, reaching more than 300 billion barrels. It ranks second in global oil reserves, second only to Venezuela. For a long time, Saudi Arabia has exported about 73.64 million barrels of oil per day, 40% of which is shipped to Asia. However, this oil usually needs to pass through the Strait of Malacca, which is under the control of the United States. In recent years, the United States has repeatedly asked Saudi Arabia to increase oil production, but Saudi Arabia has refused, which has had an indirect impact on relations between the two countries. In this case, once the United States blocks this channel, Saudi Arabia will have to divert 70% of its oil to pipeline and rail transportation, which will increase the cost by 40% and increase the time by more than 30 days. However, once Saudi Arabia joins the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, its oil can be exported to Asia through Gwadar port. This not only saves time and costs, but also enhances Saudi Arabia's competitiveness in the Asian market. For Saudi Arabia, this means more export opportunities and higher revenues, especially for large oil importers like China. Through the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, Saudi Arabia will be able to meet the needs of Asian markets more flexibly, thereby maintaining its leading position in the global energy market. This is a strategic cooperation for Saudi Arabia that will help reduce its dependence on US oil, while expanding business opportunities in the Asian market. On the other hand, the United States has imposed many accusations and sanctions on Saudi Arabia in recent years. For example, in 2021, the Biden administration imposed sanctions and visa bans on Saudi citizens in response to the killing of a Saudi journalist in 2018. In addition, the United States has restricted certain arms sales to Saudi Arabia, which has upset the kingdom. As one of the world's largest emerging markets, China's influence in the global economic, political and cultural fields continues to increase. Therefore, once Saudi Arabia moves closer to China, it is expected to invest in or participate in a number of infrastructure projects, including new power stations, solar and wind power generation projects. By participating in these projects, Saudi Arabia can promote employment growth in the country and indirectly improve people's living standards. So, once Saudi Arabia joins the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, what benefits will it bring to China and Pakistan? As one of Pakistan's most important ports, Gwadar port's trade volume reached more than 20 million tons in 2022, bringing Pakistan more than $1 billion in revenue. With the addition of Saudi Arabia, Pakistan will have more opportunities to use Gwadar port to carry out trade activities. It is expected that the trade volume of Gwadar port will increase to more than 30 million tons in the next few years, bringing Pakistan more than 1.5 billion US dollars in revenue. However, as trade activities increase, ports require more transportation, logistics, warehousing and other infrastructure to support operations. According to preliminary projections, this will require the creation of 100,000 jobs to support Gwadar port operations. 
These jobs will provide good employment opportunities for young people in Pakistan and promote the development of the local economy. For China, it consumes about 700 million tons of oil every year, and about 60% of its oil imports come from the Middle East. Previously, China's annual oil imports from Saudi Arabia had reached about 90 million tons. After Saudi Arabia joins the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, China's oil imports can not only increase to 130 million tons, but also the oil will be transported to China through Gweda port and no longer need to pass through the Strait of Malacca. This not only improves security but also makes China's oil supply more stable. Especially in the current context of frequent wars in the Middle East and the instability and danger of oil supply, the significance of Saudi Arabia's joining the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor becomes even more prominent. At present, although there is no news confirming that Saudi Arabia has joined the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, but I think it is only a matter of time before Saudi Arabia joins the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. This video ends here. What other reasons do you think Saudi Arabia insists on joining the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor? Do you think China and Pakistan will let Saudi Arabia join the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor? Welcome to leave a message in the comment area to share your thoughts and feelings. If you like the content of this issue, please recommend it to your friends so that more people can see this video. Thank you everyone for watching and supporting, see you next time.